So now in this video I'm going to show you how I safely light a, a couple of 5 volt 1 watt LEDs right there with a 12 volt power supply. As you can see we got about 0.216 amps or 216 milliamps of current running through this circuit. But one of the things I did to get these LED modules, they're only rated for 5 volts but we have a 12 volt power supply. When we put them in series though, then to uh, fully light them, we need a total of 10 volts across them. We're going to go slightly lower with 9 volts right there. But as you can see, they're still uh, really bright at 9 volts uh, total. And so since they are in series, they divide up the voltage. They're equal components. And so uh, each one of them will get half of the supply voltage. So out of 9 volts, 4.5 volts will be across each one of the LED modules bit below the 5 volt max. To get 9 volts across the load, when we're using a 12 volt uh, power supply, we're going to use a linear voltage regulator. So that uh, is the 7809, this is actually L7809, but the part number to, that is most important is the 7809. 78, the first part of it means it's a positive voltage regulator. So we're working with the positive voltage there, a higher one. Uh, we're lowering the voltage a bit, but it's still going to be positive. So it's 9 volts more positive than the common pin right there. And then ultimately that 9 volts will be across the load. We have a, a couple capacitors right there. I'm not going to go into uh, detail. This is actually a 0.47 microfarad capacitor, but it doesn't matter. Um, these two capacitors help stabilize things. You may get away without using them at all. So you can do that. So here's the uh, integrated circuit, even though it looks like a transistor. And uh, left pin is in, middle pin is common, and the uh, right pin is out. If I turn it this way, now in is at top. That would be the positive supply, common to that jumper there, which goes to ground. And then we have another jumper uh, down there. That is the output right there. And that is all we have to do. And the circuit's done. I'll turn the uh, power on and the LEDs come on. So uh, they're really bright. This can handle a lot of uh, power. But really quickly, when it comes to the uh, 7800 uh, series integrated circuits, you want uh, whatever your output voltage is, you want the supply voltage to be at least two volts higher. So we got three volts in this circuit, but 11 would be about the minimum you want. Now you can go up to uh, 35 volts with these integrated circuits, uh, but the higher the voltage, the more heat it's going to create. You may need a heat sink also. As we saw, this only has about 200 milliamps of current, 0.2 amps approximately. Um, it can handle up to 1.5 amps. Again, at that high current, you probably need a heat sink. But since we're at lower currents, um, we should be plenty fine without it. This is the TO220 uh, package. They can dissipate uh, quite a bit of heat with that uh, uh, metal tab on the back right there. So again, the 7800 series is a positive voltage regulator. If you have a negative supply voltage that you want lower uh, compared to uh, zero volts uh, ground, then you would use the 7900 series integrated circuit, uh, not something at all related to uh, this circuit. Now also, uh, I use nine volts. These are five volt LED modules. Um, so we could use a 7805. And power just one of them just fine but uh, I'm thinking of 12 volts that's a common voltage for powering stuff like your car and stuff it actually goes higher uh, than 12 volts and so uh, lighting one LED with the 5 volt regulator the regulator will get uh, pretty hot because it's dropping so much more of uh, 12 volts to go down to 5 instead of 9 volts and uh, so for uh, this circuit because you would get the same amount of current going through as you do with this circuit, um, approximately, but the regulator would get twice as hot. So instead, uh, we got a higher voltage coming out, but two LEDs that it's going to light. So we got twice the light coming out, and uh, the regulator is not going to get as hot as if you're dropping a whole bunch of voltage to light one LED with uh, five volts out. So hopefully that makes sense.